Okay, so now we're going to learn to determine the hybridization of atoms in a molecule using a Lewis structure. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is remember the different types of hybrid orbitals. Okay, so sp hybrid orbitals. This is where we have mixed a 2s and one of the 2p's, as long as we're using second row elements. Okay, and we're going to mix those two atomic orbitals and we're going to get two hybrid orbitals back out and they're going to be sp hybrids with 180 degree bond angles. Okay, now let's look at sp2 and remind ourselves. All right, so sp2 hybrids are formed when we take the 2s and two of the 2p atomic orbitals and mix those and then we're going to end up with three sp2 hybrid orbitals. Okay, so remember each one of these is an sp2 hybrid. Okay, the bond angles between them are 120 degrees. All right, so now let's remind ourselves of sp3 hybrid orbitals. So these are the ones that are formed when we mix all three of the 2p atomic orbitals and one 2s orbital. We're going to mix those guys together and we're going to get a set of four sp3 hybrid orbitals. Now, these, this is a 3D structure, it's a tetrahedral structure, and the bond angles are 109.5 degrees. Now, it can be pretty hard to draw a 2D picture of a 3D object. So we have a few little tricks to help us do that. And one of them is that if we just have a normal outline, as you can see with these two lobes on this sp3 hybrid, then these guys are in the plane of the screen or the paper, okay? So just normal lines means in the plane. All right, so now if you can picture, if it's a dotted line, that means that lobe is pointing behind the screen, okay? So we use dots to show that it's pointing behind. And then in contrast, we use a very, very heavy, bold line to show a lobe that is pointing out of the screen, so out in front of the screen. So this, is, this gives us a way to represent a 3D object on a 2D piece of paper. Okay, now, so it's pretty easy to predict hybridization of atoms in a molecule from a Lewis structure. And so we just want to think about a few steps, okay? One, now I don't have it on here because I guess it's the pre-step, but you need to make sure that you have most preferred Lewis structure for the molecule. So you need to draw the Lewis structure, make sure that it's the best one in terms of minimizing formal charge. Everybody has an octet if possible, things like that. So you want to draw the best Lewis structure you can for that molecule. You're going to go through these steps to determine the hybridization. And so the very, very first step is to determine the steric number for each non-hydrogen atom. Okay, so look at each atom in that molecule and count up the steric number. And you're going to get that by adding together the number of bonded atoms and lone pairs for each atom in the molecule. Okay, so that's the steric number. Step two, we're going to predict the bond angles around a given atom using that steric number. Now we learned about steric numbers in VSEPR. Okay, we learned about molecular geometries that result from a certain, you know, number of items, whether they're lone pairs or atoms, bonded to a central atom. And so we're going to use that same information to determine the bond angles around an atom in a molecule. Okay, and then from that information, once we have the steric number and the bond angles, then we can identify the hybridization that has to result based on that steric number and bond angles. And so on the next slide, we're going to see a table that puts all of that together. Now, one thing to keep in mind, hydrogen atoms do not hybridize. They use the 1s atomic orbital to bond. Okay, so here's our table of hybridized orbitals. All right, so here's our steric number, okay? and the corresponding bond angle. Now you should have those memorized already. That should be in your head. And so what you're adding now is the hybridization. So when the steric number is two, you're gonna have sp hybrid orbitals on that atom in the molecule. All right, and if the steric number is three, the bond angle is gonna be 120 degrees. Then you're gonna have sp2 hybrid orbitals. You have to mix three atomic orbitals together to get three hybrids back out. 
and there's our steric number three. And then for steric number four, bond angles are 109.5, and we have had to mix the 2S plus all three of the 2Ps in order to get that set of sp3 hybrid orbitals. Okay, so let's do a quick example. So the first, we want to identify the hybridization for each of the atoms in this molecule. Now, if an atom isn't hybridized, we're going to make sure that we specifically state that. Okay? So now, let's go ahead and look at the structure. All right, so this is ammonia. Okay? And we can see that we have three bonded hydrogens and one lone pair around that central nitrogen. Okay? So this is the guy we're looking at right now. Okay? So now if we count those things up, one, two, three, four, we have a steric number of four for that nitrogen in the molecule. And we know for a steric number of four, we're going to have bond angles of, of 109.5 degrees. Okay? So now, if we know that the steric number is four and the bond angles are 109.5, then we're going to remember that now we have a set of four sp3 hybrid orbitals, so that nitrogen had to have mixed the 2s and three of the 2p, or all three of them, to get those four hybrid orbitals, okay? So nitrogen is sp3 hybridized, hydrogen is unhybridized, okay? So in this molecule, this is the only atom that is hybridized its atomic orbitals, and the hydrogens are just bonding with the 1s atomic orbital. All right, so here's another example. Now, what I would like you to do is pause the presentation and try figuring out the hybridization for each atom in the molecule. All right, so first thing we're going to do is remember that all the hydrogens are unhybridized. Okay, so they just bond with the 1s orbital. So we've actually finished all of those. That's all we need to say. We, need to, we don't need to write the hybridization or lack thereof by each of those hydrogens in there. Okay, so those are unhybridized. All right, so now what about the oxygens? Let's go ahead and look at those two. Okay, so we can, let's go ahead and look at this double bonded oxygen first. So we can see that we have a double bond of carbon, and then we have two sets of lone pairs. Okay, so if we count those things up, we get a steric number of three. Now, it might be kind of tempting to think that this is a steric number two down here with this double bond but it really is number of bonded atoms. So a double bond only counts as one thing in the steric number, okay? And then we have two sets of lone pairs, so that's two more, all right? So steric number total of three. And so that oxygen is sp2 hybridized, okay? All right, so let's look at this other oxygen. Now he's a little different, okay? So he has two bonded atoms, and two sets of lone pairs, okay? So if we count that up, we get a steric number of four, 109.5 degree bond angles, and so we know that that oxygen is sp3 hybridized. Okay, so now what about the two carbons, okay? So this carbon, one, two, three atoms bonded to it, steric number three, and so that should be 120 degree bond angles, with sp2 hybridization, okay? Now, this is incorrect. See that 109.5? That's a typo of mine. This should say 120 degrees bond angles, and it's sp2 hybridized, okay? Now, this other carbon, he's actually bonded to four things, all right? So his steric number is four, and he's sp3 hybridized. All right, so now let's look at the nitrogen, okay? The nitrogen looks just like it did earlier in ammonia, okay? So even though this is a bigger, bigger molecule, nitrogen has a lone pair and then three things bonded, three atoms bonded. So the steric number is four and it's sp3 hybridized, okay? So let's go ahead and practice a little bit more with another molecule. Okay, so here's a mini quiz for you. So take your time, pause the presentation, and figure out the hybridization on each of the atoms in this molecule. Okay, so again, here's carbon, okay? Double bonded to oxygen, single bond to nitrogen, single bond to this nitrogen. So that's a steric number of three, 
okay? This should say 120 degree bond angles, okay? That'll be corrected in the PowerPoints. And then it's sp2 hybridized, okay? So that's carbon. And remember that all of the hydrogens are unhybridized. Okay, so this oxygen, two long pairs and a double bond. Remember that double bond is one thing in the steric number, two, three. So steric number three, and it's sp2 hybridized. Both nitrogens are the same. They each have a lone pair, and they're bonded to three other atoms. Steric number is four, and they are sp3 hybridized. So you should practice these until you, they get very, very easy for you.